underway for our final game of the night. Awesome sauce. And just as you mentioned, perhaps it's going to be a shift or a, a shift in picks for both Enzo and Katjo. Katjo does pick, a, what do you call this, a, a Gragas from time to time. So perhaps we might see that again um, on Alpha Esports' side. All right, here we go. Syndra banned out by Alpha as they're going to be on blue side. For Jaya, going to go ahead and ban out the Aphelios. As always, your red side ban, you have to. And Alpha, I'm going to repeat the Senna ban. We've been starting to see a lot more on blue side. Yep, it has been a trend uh, for, I suppose, the first four or three weeks in the PCS. And meanwhile, we'll see what Berjaya decides to ban as, you know, Orn has been very 50-50, not really a priority in bans. You can release that into the Rift. It's totally fine. But meanwhile, we see a target ban on towards Cat Joke. He has been performing really, really well on the Lee Sin. Um, and therefore, just deserves the respect ban from uh, BJD. Yeah, you see there, that also kind of cuts into Enzo's pool as well. So there's still the option of, say, the Gragas or the Rek'Sai for Cat Jug if he wishes to go for it. Those have been his two other options. Pantheon actually coming out as another ban here for Alpha. So a lot of targets, actually toward the Dragons. Set being banned out, that does mean Misfortune likely just going to be the immediate pickup. And I wouldn't be shocked if that is then answered immediately by an Ezreal, because that's always been the Dragons' go-to response. That has been the trend for most of the PCS teams in general. I suppose it depends on what priority you want to uh, bring out as we see that yeah, you're right. I think it could be the Ezreal, or maybe get the Braum into your side, because you left open an Orn, and therefore, in just in case Alpha Esports decides to pick that up. Although, looking back, uh, Rock doesn't really play Orn. He wants to play all of these. He likes his carries. He, he likes, likes getting carries. up in your face. Yeah, exactly. Although, we did see that one game, though, where they put uh, the support on towards the Orn, but it didn't work out so well, so we didn't really see that anymore after that. All right, there it is. Ezreal locked in response here for K2 and the Dragons. Like you mentioned, we could go ahead and pick up that Braum, or maybe they just try and lock down one of those jungle pickups, you know. Lee Sin was banned out already by the Dragon, so there's the Rek side they can try and take away from Cat Jung, and that might be the option here they're going for. Yeah, I think the Berjaya Dragons is prepared for Alpha Esports' Gragas pick again, because, again, Cat Jug only played three jungles so far in the PCS, and most of it is on Lee Sin twice on the Gragas and once on the Rek side, which is now in Enzo's hands. So in terms of revealing whatever a cat jug still has in his pool, we haven't really seen much of it yet. But uh, whoa, uh, right! So the Elise did make it through the bands. Usually it is a blue side ban. So the fact that uh, I guess they were pretty much open to saying, all right, we're fine playing the Rek side into it or we're fine playing the Elise into the Rek side. Either or, as they're also going to go ahead and lock in the Thresh. This is actually a very nice pickup for Alpha Esports. Um, whatever Assassin is going to be picking up in the mid lane will really enable early game ganks. An easier one at that with all the damage in the world coming from an early game Elise. Um, perhaps even bo bolster Rock at the top side of the map as well. And that's going to be a Nautilus pickup, I suppose, if they lock that down. And they will. All right, so Nautilus being the response. It could also technically go mid, too. Mm -hmm. That's a possibility. We have seen the mid Nautilus from time to time. Uh, for the Dragons, though, second ban phase. Mid lane still needs to be picked up here for Alpha and likely their top lane as well. So they're looking to save at least <laughs> one counter pick. And yeah, casted it. Yeah, might as well get rid of it. So much respect on towards this casted in every single time Alpha Esports uh, teams go up against Alpha Esports, they decide to ban that out. Now, I LeBlanc is actually open still for the taking. Um, Minji, though, doesn't, hasn't played any LeBlanc yet. Yes, but it because, does fit Assassin, though. Yeah, because I do believe um, it was the other mid lane of the Dragons that actually Mawan. Mawan, yeah. Mm -hmm. He was actually the one that played the LeBlanc. And also, I think he played the Zoe, so I think Alpha maybe... Uh, got their mid laners mixed up when it comes to this draft because they're already banning out the Zoe and the LeBlanc right there. Interesting. As uh, Minji, yep, hasn't played any... Uh, well, he did, he play, did Zoe play Zoe twice. Uh, but on the other hand, LeBlanc 
hasn't picked up hasn't been picked up yet like three mid laner bans for alpha esports setting up a nice lane for assassin um, and now that the Cassidy's out of the table, we'll see. Uh, okay, okay, so this this kind of throws a wrench into the plans because it kind of means that this Nautilus could get flexed into mid lane. Mm -hmm. We have seen it a couple times in the PCS uh, where that Mordekaiser will most definitely go up into the top lane. We don't usually see him mid. Uh, so I guess that's now the option here. Does Rock yeah, just go ahead and pick up his Aatrox? They made it through the pick and ban phase here. Yep. That's going to be the classic rock, eight trucks here um, for Alpha Esports. Again, it's not. It's one of the best performing champions for for rock in general. And now, this is going to be either a surprise or going to be ah, okay. Yeah, I understand. All right. And it's one of those ah, okay. Yeah, I understand kind of dealies of so, Silas. Well, for Assassin, um, he has played Silas actually never uh, oh, once. once. He played it once. Played it against Nova last oh. week. And we're going to have a Kiana, which means we have ourselves a melee versus melee matchup in mid lane. When was the last time we had that in mid lane? I think this is our first melee versus melee. I think this is our first time. Yeah, it is. I get, like, if you count Cassidy, I guess, <laughs> there might have been one other. But still, yeah, usually we see the ranged uh, mages come out. But no, both of these are brawlers slash assassins coming out from both squads. That's a very brawly style composition, actually, for the dragons. And this is a complete shift to Minji's play style, because usually Minji um, has a lot of games over at Zoe, um, Syndra, and Orianna. Uh, Echo and Cass. So at this point, it's really a different sort of style. Cassiopeia, not Cassidin. Different style coming from Minji. I'm looking forward to this. All right. Well, we'll see our final game of the night, Alpha. Looking for their first victory of week four. The same for Burjaya. A little bit of a change up when it comes to their drafts, and we'll see whether or not that's going to pay off as we go ahead and load on into the Rift for our final game of the night. Alrighty. Again, this game is very close on paper. Burjaya Dragons versus Alpha Esports. At this point, we see Burjaya Dragons actually have a phase of not being very active, and therefore this means the opportunity for the opposition to be taking advantage of that small window, similar to what we've seen with you're up against HQ or maybe even talent esports to some extent. But teams have evolved, Dopal. They've been switching it up. It could be a different Virgia Dragons coming into this Alpha Esports match. So we see just the vision coming out toward the top side of the map. It's Alpha just wanting to know where this Rek'Sai is going to path, but we already see pings coming out, I think, from Enzo saying, all right, I'm going to do a top side clear, and then maybe they're going to try and go for a play onto that Aatrox. We'll see whether or not Cat Jung looks to try and do the same. He might just go buff to buff uh, as he's going to be starting down on his red. Yep, that is the plan in mind for Enzo here on the Rek'Sai. And Rek'Sai, I think when we watched, when you saw the stats, I think it is the highest win rate champion in the league right now for it's the pretty close it's, it's pretty, pretty close, close. especially okay. in jungle i think it is it's in jungle like okay because i think this fortune would be the the total the overall highest win rate champion i suppose uh i don't know if i like that play from ozzy actually so he ended up giving a leash if it was leashless then alpha would have had to worry where is this rexi passing on now though Showing the Motor Kaiser coming in late, it could also be, you know, a fake leash they mm -hmm. could consider. Um, but now they know that Enzo is likely onto the top side of the map, so I doubt we're going to see much action there. As we have a Flay coming out here, Chili's taking a decent chunk of damage. Ooh, they're level going two. in. Level two. That's going to be the flash on forward into the dredge line. Oh, he ends up missing Atlin there, though. It's not enough damage. Oh. Just have a hook back onto the engage. K2 able to get a little bit of damage there back onto Kino. Uh, Atlin looking for it, back in with another dredge line, and there's the Ooh. SO. Easy here, who's going to go down? Oh. No one's there. Here comes Assassin, though. Chili getting aggressive. Oh, oh. Yeah, K2! <laughs> he decides he'll risk his life, but Assassin with the roam is able to answer the first blood. Okay, so K2 with that flash, you get first blood. At least you get bonus gold after that. Um, it makes me wonder whether or not if they just continue to run. 
if they would have survived and not give any kills whatsoever. I guess eventually the trade is okay because you get that additional gold. And um, this is just basically an exchange of hooks here and there. Jilly gets his off cooldown, gets a clear um, line of vision for it as, you know, Kino oh. went past the minion. And it's such a delayed fight that Assassin's able just to push in the mid lane and K2, yeah, sure. I guess he was like, we're probably going to die anyway, yeah. so I might as well get a first blood. So I'll give it to him. He's actually able to get gold uh, where the gold goes on over to the Silas. So, you know, the question becomes, what do you like more, an accelerated Ezreal in bot lane or a fed Silas? That's true. I feel like it will definitely help get the edge uh, against Minji. I mean, if you think about it, um, Berjaya Dragons do have some sort of uh, a different approach to the game um, against Alpha. Like, for example, Berjaya Dragons, they would like to funnel their gold towards K2 so that he can transition well into the mid phases of the game. And meanwhile, for Alpha Esports, their backup plan would always be late game Assassin or Rock and then have consistent damage from Atlan. This could be a gank uh, coming from Cat Jug. Yeah, Enzo ended up going for the blue buff later on. Lots of vision, though, in the river for the dragon, so they are going to catch out the uh, sneaky spider in the river. Mm -hmm. And likely nothing should come out of it. Yeah. Well, uh, the understandable approach, as uh, K2 has already lost his flash and heal, so this is going to be the next few moments of the game where... Rajai Driver's bot lane will play a little bit more, a little bit less aggressive, I suppose. Yeah, see Enzo looking for a path here. This assassin, a little push forward, still a decent amount of damage. Minji not actually able to land the Q there. As uh, we saw our bat bot lane matchup graphic. On paper, both of these players pretty even. Atlin, though, and Kino, they decide they wish to make the first objective take here with the at least being down on the bot side of the map, and they're able to get themselves Dragon Priority. Nicely done by Alpha Esports here. And uh, again, it's one of those things, it's the small victories that count for Alpha Esports. Especially there's not a lot of threats to work with, so first Dragon will go for Alpha. There it is. <laughs> well, I was like, oh, missed the smite. It's okay. Yeah. But the fact that uh, Catjug's been able to show so much down here on the bot side is it's pretty easy to say Enzo's on the top side of the map. So you can already see Rock is like, all right, I don't need to try and push out or anything. I don't have to really go for a play. I'm interested to see whether or not they try and go for a dive here because they do have some tower resets on the side of the dragons that work very well when trying to go for this Aatrox. Yep. Exactly. And uh, meanwhile, I'm, we're, you've been hoping to see more of this mid lane jungle. Oh, Assassin jumps in. He only has level oh. 5, though, to the level 6 of the Kiana. That's going to be the knock up there is Enzo. Instead of going top, makes an appearance in mid lane off Assassin being a little bit too aggressive. That was an interesting turn of events. So the, the minion wave was just quite thick um, for Minji in the mid lane. And that resulted for Minji getting that... Level advantage, killing more minions on his side. And that was very aggressive. The trade was actually really nice. It worked well, but the appearance of Enzo just shut down Assassin's plans in the mid lane. Yeah, the fact he's been able to, you know, stay on toward the top side of the map instead of going on over, seeing that rock was maybe not diveable. Wanted to see whether or not Minji could bait out the aggression of Assassin, and they're able to catch him out, so... That means Moby Boots here, actually, for Minji. Oh, ho, ho. That means he's going to be looking to roam. We'll have to see whether or not he does so, as uh, we might have some more action here, Riku. Oh, you're going for it. They're going to go ahead, jump on in. Assassin gets oh, his ultimate oh. taken on back. He tries to push him on back, but no, it's a trade one for one, as Enzo is able to find a double TP now from both sides. Ozzy wants to join in on the fight. He locks down the rock, and boom, they're now stuck in the Shadow Realm. Unfortunately, Ozzy is just a little bit too close to the tower. They're going to wait for him to oh, pop out, but he's able to get to safety. And now the cocoon lands. He gets over the minions just with the flash and gets himself to safety in the end. It's just still that one for one. That was so close. This was actually a perfect setup. No wards, no vision on the side of Berjaya Dragons on the side. That's the reason why Minji was hanging out at that side, because that had vision. But it didn't really matter once Assassin locked in. Nicely done dash by Minji to dodge the cocoon, but everything just piled through. It was just an exchange of ults. So 
one for one exchange, right time at the right place with the counter gank coming from Enzo. And this is the part where I thought Rock would have gotten the kill. Yeah, Rock was looking to try and turn it. I'm shocked they just didn't go in on him. Oh, Catron didn't really have any more mana to go for a combo. Yeah, true. Uh, uh -oh. Hello, Chili. Made an appearance in mid lane. True shot barrage. All right. Chili. He got himself a set of Moby boots, and he's come on by to say hello. His uh, <laughs> bot lane impacted mid lane now. That's absolutely the game plan. Chili being very uh, present in the first phases of the game, and now that's Assassin gone. Therefore, Rift Herald will be open. Let's take a look at that again. Coming from a different side as well. So that was quite unexpected. I think they went through the jungle as they wanted to transition towards Rift Herald as a bot lane. But because of that, because of Assassin dying, they didn't really need to invest any more resources on that side of the map. So nice job here by the Dragons. Able to sneak away and get themselves a Rift Herald as well. That does mean, though, K2 in the bot lane is going to lose out on a bit of farm here. He's just going to try and farm what he can as the turret plates will go on over to Atlan. Yep, Sari with a K2. Going to be oh, safe for now, but this leaves... Again, as an Ezreal in the bot lane, you're going to have to take and watch your turret die <laughs> against a misfortune with all of these plates. Uh, Chili coming. He's a fast Nautilus. <laughs> Lantern out for Kino, or rather for Atlan. Cat Jug. Second time's the charm. Guess not. I don't know if Minji pushes up again. That might be a possibility. Enzo and Chili, though. Roman squad here with the Rek'Sai Nautilus. Enzo does have Rift Herald, so it looks like they were hoping to maybe Ooh. look for a play. Again, meanwhile in mid lane, uh, Minji, like we said, we usually don't see him on the melee champs, but so far uh, looking to go very aggressive as this Kiana. Exactly, it's working out really well. And paired with Enzo's constant presence in the mid lane, they're really focusing down on Minji, especially that you mentioned how she got Moby Boots, so looking towards that roam. But at the same time, Assassin has been shoving the wave to keep Minji in check, therefore not being able to utilize the Moby Boots as much as he can for now. Yeah, that's the unfortunate thing when you're going up into a Silas, and maybe Minji could have just utilized that gold onto maybe just some more offensive stats, mm -hmm. maybe look toward his items. He maybe didn't have to get Tier 2 Boots, but we'll see here as the Dragon respawns, and you see Minji actually in that mid lane oh. looking to track on over because here we go. Depth Charge is going to land up onto Kino. He gets knocked on over and he's going to get taken on down. Minji hiding out towards the side. is able Ooh. to get the double the supreme display of talent. Stun easily onto the team. And now Assassin is locked in the death realm. He's got nowhere to run as the rest of Burjaya are waiting for him to just pop out. And like that, like a pack of wolves. Get onto their target, and that's three kills into a Rift Herald being popped in mid lane from the Dragons. That's a lot of value um, for the Berjaya Dragons. Patience is a virtue as well. Tremor sends something funny in the Dragon Pit, and therefore ult towards Thresh. No support. Not a lot of heal. Minji with the style points here, eliminating the jungler. And I think that was the last hit towards Chili with the auto attack. But it doesn't matter, as it's cleanup squad for the Berjaya Dragon. This uh, meanwhile, though. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we saw on the live there, looks like uh, Alpha were able to respond with a kill of their own. Oh, they got Chili. Chili. They got the shutdown on Chili. <laughs> oh, no. He got bloodthirsty. He, he got too confident. He got too confident. Two, it's 2 and 3 right now. The Nautilus is 2 and 3. Um, yeah, and that point, fortunately, we aren't. We aren't we didn't We will probably see, see it. Yeah, we'll probably see a replay. See it. We'll probably see it. Oh boy. Either way. Uh, in the end, the dragons are gonna be pretty happy here. Is Cat Jung still trying to get some uh, in vain, take away some camps from the wreck side? Try to keep that gold close to even. It's still only about a fifteen hundred gold lead in favor of the dragons. They did pick up their first dragon themselves though. And we're gonna have Cloud Soul for our final game of the night. That is correct. And meanwhile, now that I look at it, Assassin's uh, Steel, uh, ult steals, don't have a lot of value on the opposite side. Probably aside from Minji's ult and Chili's ult for the engage, I suppose. Yep. 
Well, that looks like what you'd take. Yeah, but anything else, not a lot of value uh, for Alpha Esports. Again, this is Alpha saying, fine. We, this always happens to us. You know? all, yeah, <laughs> always. Alpha like to, I don't know if they like to, but there's often times they find themselves falling down early in their game, mm -hmm. and they just resort back to the, well, we have a better team fight, so there's that. Ha ha. <laughs> it's true, though. They're pretty scary. Could be a potential dive. Let's spot it out. Let's see here. Three, four members of the dragons are just going to try and get a little bit of damage Ooh. onto that tower. And Assassin. Assassin's nearby oh. in mid lane as Minji again going for the 1v1. Here comes Enzo as well as Assassin steals away the supreme display of talent. Chili uh -oh. waiting in the wings. But they're not going to go there. That's still a big ultimate have down as a lot of pings actually coming out here. As Kino and Atlin looking to set up bait, it seems. If Chili, oh, he ends up landing <laughs> hook onto the terrain. True Shot Barrage doesn't land on his target, only clipping Atlin. Teleport going to come on through. Ozzy, nowhere near the fight. And now Alpha look to advance. Minji with no ultimate, though. Over the side, Catch Young oh. looking for the flash. Cocoon not able to find it. Does get the flash, though, out of the Ezreal. Now Kino is stuck within the Death Realm. Catch Young over the wall. K2 a little bit too close to the party. It's a battle on two fronts There's underneath tower. the tower. He's not able to do anything there as Kino gets taken on down. And now the rest of Alpha are starting to what? follow on through. It's a double kill onto the Mordekaiser. And Rock has nowhere to run but back toward the base of the Dragons. Whoa, oh, it's still chasing squad of former giant dragons, and Rock is just dancing around this area. That's four people. Oh, it gets one, get though. Kill. In response, I thought it was over. Rek'Sai Ultimate going to be used. Minji, though, picks up the kill. And in the end, I believe it is a three for two in favor of the dragons. We'll likely take another look at that. That was such a messy and yet fun team fight to watch. And I actually didn't expect Rock to still get a kill. Oh, Assassin wants this. Oh, jeez. Look how much damage Assassin does here. Depth Charge is going to be popped. Assassin doesn't have the Side ultimate step. to steal it away. Oh. Able to get away. But there it is. It's a trade again. One for one. What? Riku, it doesn't end at this point as both teams want to keep fighting. I am shocked and delighted at the same time. Imagine coming from a team fight and then your opposing team is like, this is probably not going to have a, a fight starting anytime soon. It was Chili that actually initiated everything, except for the fact that he, his hook hit a terrain, and therefore not able to disable anyone on the team. Rock flashes out. K2 was in an awkward spot, and I, Ketchuk, really wanted a kill. So Ketchuk was separated into this fight. He, he had to think, do I get K2 instead? So the rappel in, and meanwhile, the rest of uh, Brugia, or rather Alpha Esports, oh. were actually falling down. You didn't get to see that bullet time fully there as mm -hmm. Atlin ended up fanning and that ends up costing him as that double kill goes on over to the Mordekaiser. We get to see the live again, trying to take the dragon here on the side of Virjaya. As I'll give it to Rock though, he's able to trade back and get, I believe, a bounty shut down Oops. in the end as uh, yeah, he kills off K2 there before he gets taken out. Yeah, I think that was pretty worth. Might as well take someone down before you fall. And this is the second dragon for the Virjaya. Dragons. <laughs> and uh, at this point, Minji is a huge, actually, 614 right now. I did. Atlas should be very, very careful. Actually, a lot of squishies. Uh, yeah, Minji's going for a flank here. He ends up getting the supreme display of talent, but it does not find the stun on the target he's looking for. Mid lane, though. Uh, they got to deal with top here, as that's going to be the Rift Tail being popped as he went into the death round. Oh, wow. There. He's still trying to go for this. What the? This man, he does not die. He's the Mortar Kaiser. He's the Harbinger of Doom. And the True what? Shot Barrage comes through. Ozzy's able to live, and he gets himself a double kill with the assist from the Ezreal of K2. That snipe really, really helped win that 1v1. It was actually a 1v2 for Ozzy, and he's getting that clip. 402 right now. I, that is, that is a highlight reel. <laughs> that is, uh, you go and you give him a, you catch know, him. catch up. Oh, he still wants this. You want the oh, kill? No, oh. he doesn't know where he went because he was out of rage. Uh-oh. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, actually, that's not okay here for Ozzy. Oh, he's able to sidestep away from the cocoon. Here uh -oh. comes the Kiana, though. And they want to the Oh, my lord. That damage is disgusting. Hat Jung getting over toward the side, maybe looking for a flash over the wall. He doesn't have it. And K2, he gets a kill credit in the end, finally, after assisting with the 1v2 up in top lane. This is interesting. So Rift Herald unleashed. Good thing it wasn't, you know, uh, interrupted. Uh, but at the same time, Kino was the one used. I was in the Shadow Realm, and I think bought a lot of time because Atlan did a huge amount of damage. But the shields and the True Shot Barrage from downtown yeah, is perfect. This is Whoop. Oh. And then one more auto. Perfect. <laughs> Nasty. Oh. Rock in the meanwhile has been pushing down in bot lane, but uh, that's a massive Mordekaiser, by the way. He does not care if you are a world ender as it gets used as he's brought into the Shadow Realm. It's big boys with big weapons now going to duke oh, it out. Another two shot. two shot barrage trying to come through, but Rock gets taken down. That smash finish towards Rock and looks like it's going to be a trade alive for a tower, but Ozzy, I feel like he's just going to push this one down. I guess the answer is no. Um, Alpha Esports should be careful with this Kiana. Minji is just insane right now. Oh, he's 6 1 and 5. Six, anyone, one, five. anyone that on Alpha that goes near him, if they are a, a squishy member, are just going to get bursted immediately. Everyone's squishy. That's the thing. Except for probably Rock to some extent. Uh, it's just a 1v1. It is a 1v1 to reel in. Basically, Ozzy is just so far ahead to take this 1v1 already. Uh, and that double kill really bolstered Ozzy into more of a scary Mordekaiser at this point of the game. Especially, yeah, because he ended up rushing the Nasher's tooth. Mm -hmm. So the extra attack speed while you can weave in those auto attacks with your abilities is pretty nice to have on top of the Proto Belt. So a decent amount of cooldown reduction as well. And another two shot barrage coming out from K2, and that's gonna be a 6,000, almost 6,000 gold lead for the Dragons at 20 minutes. At 20 minutes. Um, in terms of Berjaya Dragons losing a game from a huge lead, I don't think we've ever seen that as much as with Alpha Esports. Um, there are Berjaya Dragons is more of the team that can either crush you early to late and win, or if Alpha Esports gets ahead, they can turn things around, which was kind of the situation that they've experienced once when they faced Alpha Esports in the first round, Robin. Those are some healthy gold bars right now. Ooh, Minji, Ozzy. Yeah, the pair of them. The, tr the tri of them, actually. The, tri <laughs> the trio of them so far currently lead the gold graphs as the Dragons are set themselves up here for a monster mid-game scale. Is Cloud Drake going to be up now in 50 seconds? That's going to be likely our next objective is the reset is there and they get themselves a lot of vision already down on the side of Rajaya. It's going to make it a rough time for Alpha to try and enter the pit. Exactly. It's going to be the perfect spot for a Kiana ult setup. And just imagine the one hit combo potential that you could have. Assassin, meanwhile, will steal Mordekaiser's ultimate, and that will be prepared for the bear and dragon fight, rather. Meanwhile, Berjaya Dragons will decide to just push, so they have more space. Let's see how this goes. Chili, some pings coming out here. Assassin stealing that ultimate is actually pretty nice, because he could try and maybe solo out either one of the carries. Let's see, Hook. Not going to land here from K2. He's a little far forward, but gets himself back to safety. Assassin! Oh, he's a little too far <laughs> forward. Chili not able to land as... Ooh, nice lantern. Ozzy actually almost predicted that. Minji! Oh, Minji's going for a huge flank. Kino. Oh, he ends up catching him out. That's going to be the play into the boxes. Also, that's the ignite into the hook. Meanwhile, though, Assassin's trying to go for the 1v4. He ends up using the Death Realm onto what? K2, and he gets himself the shutdown. What? The dragons are separated as they're able to at least claim the one kill. Well, that's the thing about the Mordekaiser ult on the Silas. You cannot escape him. Exactly, and it, it feels like the well, Alpha Esports got the better deal out of that as Rajaya Dragons lost both of their carries, K2 and Minji at that. And that was just because of Assassin's play. He really separated the Rajaya Dragons and therefore, well, well, Rajaya, 
Still wants this. Uh, still goes Riku as now Chili's going to get hooked back onto Rock though. The double triple knockup it would be as it keeps comboing in their favor. Ozzy oh, still though going in the what? 1v1. He just smacks the thresh what? and boom comes down the mace. He gets himself a triple kill on the Mordekaiser. 903, you eliminated the problem already. Minji was out. And then at some point, you have to deal with Ozzy, who's just going to walk all over you. And that's exactly Ooh. what happened. No answer whatsoever for Alpha. Whew, the dragons are in a very comfy spot right now, even getting the Baron as well with no contest whatsoever. Assassin's the only one left, and I don't think he'll be pursuing that anytime soon. Yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot that Silas can do, but this is now a monster performance coming out of Ozzy on the Motor Kaiser. 9, 0, and 3, securing himself a triple kill and helping the Dragons secure their second Dragon of the game. Ooh, before the replay came out. Uh, anyway, the hook, actually, uh, the hook actually is the one that initiated the fight, but Ozzy again! <laughs> Ozzy, no one's gonna really deal with you right now as, you know, Alpha Esports just trying to walk around in circles as they wanted to pursue Enzo and Chili while Ozzy was still in the Shadow Realm. But yeah, Leandri is actually already taken by Ozzy at this point. It's gonna just be more painful than ever. And honestly, it, it's looking like it's not an exact repeat of history, Riku. Yeah, it's not. But, like, if anything, Alpha were much further ahead in their game but they ended up throwing. There is still that possibility uh -huh. where dragons make mistakes that end up costing them this massive gold lead. They're at 7,000 at 24 minutes. You got three items on your motorcycle. Technically four if you count boots. You got three lethality items Ooh. too on the Kiana. Yeah. Like these big side lane carries as well as your mid lane are just going to stomp Alpha right now. And then your your late game assurance is K2 on this Ezreal who's still scaling up, but he just hit his two item spike now stacking up his tier as well as getting that Trinity Force. Yeah, and even has an Executioner's Calling in uh, in his inventory. So this really actually shuts down Rock and Assassin later in towards these team fights. So in terms of sustain, it will be really difficult for them. Uh, but yeah, there's just so many problems online. Like the first one was Midji. Then that double kill on Ozzy at the top side of the map. And then you have K2 online right now with a two item power spike and an execution is calling. Um, but now, it, what is your answer? That is the question for Alpha Esports. Uh, it doesn't seem like a whole lot here, Riku, mm -hmm. is they're going to let the free push come up through top lane. And they have to find a way to survive this Baron buff. Ideally, you try and prevent an inhibitor from going down. I think they will be able to accomplish that. It's only 50 more seconds on the Baron for the Dragons. As they still have a bunch of gold, though, to spend and reset as uh, Minji, ooh, he's looking for catch on. Kino not able to land the hook. Engage from Chili, not going to land. All right, so Ozzy is itching for this. I can feel it. He's got no flash, though, so he can't flash alt and try and claim one member. But still, tower will fall, and they're just going to add on to this gold lead now at 9,000. 9,000 gold lead. History is not repeating itself. It's the complete opposite. As uh, with Alpha, I was the one who had the huge lead up against Virgaya last time. So this is a completely different path to victory for Virgaya Dragons, for sure, if ever they do take this one. To, it's still far off for the next dragon. Uh, Baron has already been taken as well, so that's less things to worry about for Alpha Esports to keep an eye on, at least. At least. <laughs> I'm still, I'm impressed here, uh, especially from Ozzy. Usually we don't get to talk a whole lot about him when yeah. it comes to the dragons. He's usually, you know, over on the side lane. He's just doing his job. Usually he's doing his job. This time, though, he's doing more than, than th that's on the job description, all right? He's come up, he's looking for a promotion at this point. Because <laughs> he's had a monster game on the Motor Kaiser. Enzo yeah. also making an impact early to help get Minji ahead in mid lane against Assassin. Very nicely done. And the bot lane here so far, like Chili's, had some really good hooks. Uh, K2, he wasn't really heavily punished for that early death he had in lane. It seems like the game plan is going the way of the dragons. Does Alpha look to maybe cause a death rush to happen? Chili, a little far forward, but not a whole lot Alpha can do. I was a little bit afraid for Atlan being very far forward. Probably an uh, a, a real in from Chili. 
Uh, but again, a lot of respect. Menji will bump into Assassin. True shot barrage. So he's looking to steal away the yeah, red buff. No. Uh, Menji's being sneaky here. He's just oh. going to show himself finally. All right. So despite the huge lead, uh, monster lead, by the way, by the ca carries of Berserker Dragons, they're still a little bit more hesitant. They're not afraid to take these sieges and pushes. But for sure, they're not, you know, diving in, um, especially at the bottom side. That is going to be next for the taking, I suppose. But looks like uh, Berserker Dragons would shift to mid lane instead. It it's, looks like yeah. the, what they're looking for is likely the next Baron. Mm -hmm. They're maybe not confident that they can finish off the game. But in all honesty, they could take a fight and they would likely win. True. Like, you're, you're ahead by about 9,000 gold on the side of the Dragons. So I get this is just something we keep seeing in the PCS. This team's 8-21, to 21, but still hesitant to end the game. Yeah, um, especially Minji's item, items as well. You've got three damage items, and your opposing mid laner has one defensive item with a proto belt. So with that said, you're ho getting to that point where you can probably just go in and one shot at anyone that you want to want to take. Like Flash is up on your motor Kaiser. He can just flash in and ult somebody and it's like, okay, I guess they die now. <laughs> that is Minji? a very big, oh, uh, Minji. Let's see, is he caught out? He's in the safety of his jungle. Uh-huh. You see Enzo coming nearby, so the Trevor Sense will help spot out any members as Minji goes over the wall. Sees Cat Jung there. We also got the Mordekaiser collapsing from the top side of the map, so there's coming a bit of a wave that is going to have to be dealt with by Alpha at some point here. Cloud Soul is available. Assassin's going to steal oh, away the ultimate. Wow. Chili with the engage. The Supreme Display of Talent finds three members. And Ozzy immediately onto the misfortune. And Atlan is just going to get obliterated. It's a trade one for one, though, as Minji got a little too far forward. And Assassin was able to find the kill. It was a return, an exchange of... Oh, they're so there. far ahead. They are. This Look is ridiculous. The they can end. They can keep going. Unfortunately, there, Cat Jung has nowhere left to go, and K2 is able to secure another one. You can just see how much damage the dragons do, but they're just so hesitant to actually go for these fights. They are very hesitant, I suppose. It's, um, but let's take a look at that fight oh. again. That was so well done uh, by Chili, but it's just an exchange of stuns here and there by the Berjaya dragons, and you can see Minji being encircled by Alpha Esports, and <laughs> and then. Ozzy didn't even have to normal attack. He <laughs> just had to stick <laughs> on the misfortune <laughs> and watch MF die. But now that's going to be barren for the Berjaya Dragons, and this is going to be take two of sieging for them. Meanwhile, Ping's coming out. Looks like K2 is just going to head over toward that dragon. So let's see. Does Alpha actually deny this soul, I think is the question. It's a cloud soul, so you're just getting a little bit extra move speed. Ooh. It's not like a huge buff like you would have with an infernal. Uh -huh. But honestly, I think it's just bait at this point. I think dragons are gonna be like, hey, you know, maybe we're out of place. Maybe you guys could possibly get this. Maybe. Yeah. That might be crush the their hopes and dreams. You know, give them a sense of false hope. Riku as uh. assassin steals it away, and oh, hey, that's flank. alpha. Flank is there from Ozzy over toward the side. Chili goes into the back line with Assassin. Wow. And Supreme display of talent absolutely squashes the spider. Hook is going to land, though, and Minji gets taken on down. Enzo toward the side looking for a flank over there. You also got the Mordekaiser, and they just take down the misfortune. Ozzy is legendary. It's another shutdown, though, going back in favor of Alpha. The double kill, though, came for K2. It's the ace for the Dragons. Ditch the dragon. We don't need the dragon, as they just decided not to take that. Meanwhile, there's not a lot of vision to work with uh, for Berjai Dragons, but they were very confident where the rest of Alpha Esports were. Look at that one-shot combo from Minji. Ate a lot of the turret hit, so the death sentence really bathed her, uh, him on that bullet time. Double knock-up. Nicely done. Clean up by Berjai Dragons. Oh, oh that he <laughs> got the arcane shift in time. <laughs> That Wait, was interesting. How didn't they end? They did Really? They didn't end. They wanted to get an inhibitor. I said, oh, oh, wow. I don't understand why dragons just didn't end. Like, <laughs> they will end the game off the next fight. I can almost guarantee it. Yes. But that's a small one. It's like, guys, you could have at least you could have taken Nexus Towers if you really wanted to. Okay. All is fine, though. There's still a minute on the Baron buff. 
yeah. it takes is one member to be caught out here. Uh, that might happen if Ozzy checks the right way. Or he's going for a massive flank. Look at this, Kino. He doesn't know oh, what's coming. Oh, he's going to bring him in to the death realm. Kino, he brought his 80 carry, <laughs> but all he brought him was into safety. It was danger as the Mordekaiser picks up another kill. This Mordekaiser is massive. He can just walk all over you, be like a king, and not have a care in the world. That is Ozzy right now. He's the king of the underworld. And he's making a name out of himself. 19 KDA, 12, 0, and 7. Hook is going to land over toward Assassin. Into the knockup they go. He ends up, you know, alting Chili. Sure, the Nautilus isn't on the realm of the living, but he will come right back. And they oh. re-engage instantly. K2 able to find the kill on Assassin. And with this, it's looking like the nail in the coffin is being driven in by the dragons. Supreme display of talent does not land onto the misfortune. It doesn't matter though, as Chili goes back in for the re-engage. They continue forth. Uh, they're able to actually get the kill there on Chili, but there it is once again. Kino is just going to get whacked underneath his fountain. And then Nexus falls. And that's the game there for the dragons convincingly. What a way to end the night, and as well as that game against Alpha Esports. They feel really happy, they feel really good. That was just a monster performance by the Dragons. Yeah, monster performance by Ozzy there. You saw him give a thumbs up yeah, to the he's camera. Like, yeah. He's like, let's go. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a big victory, though, coming out there for the Dragons, especially. You're going up against your... The other team that you were able to get a victory on in the first round, Robin, now they own the tiebreaker scenario when it comes to seeding into playoffs. And, ooh, Dragons I showing up. That is what I like to see out of these teams, finally. Hard same. I was just surprised with everybody's performance. First, it was Minji, and then the problems keep piling up, and Ozzy somehow got a double kill after that true shot barrage. And then after that, K2 came online. So Alpha Esports was like, what do we do now? There's just too many oh, things yeah. happening, and no. we can't deal with them. No, it gets to the point where, <laughs> poor Kino. Oh, he's just yeah. a thrash, and he's like, oh, Mordekaiser, you're also, you know, from the underworld, the undead. Yes, yeah. you're my best friend. And he's like, wait, no, 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 not no. this, not this. <laughs> Absolutely just destroys him. Like, every fight, poor Kino. And the end there was like, it was devastating. Like, Kino's like, I got, I'm bringing it to safety, Atlin. But and no. Then, Actually, I don't think Ozzy was ready for the misfortune to come over the wall because he ended up alting Kino. Yeah. And he's like, wait a sec, I could have killed a misfortune. <laughs> uh, it was disgusting. Like, he what, had like a 21 KDA on the Mordekaiser. That's insane. I've never seen that kind of Mordekaiser in the PCS. That was just the biggest I've ever seen. Uh, let's take a look at this replay um, with Atlin in a nice position, actually, in this fight. But again, it was more of Cat Jug deciding to probably zone out K2 and pursue the Ezreal instead. Yeah, and it's such a separated fight here. Like, in all honesty, Alpha could have just... Now, uh, this is the beginning of Kino's unfortunate... Uh, <laughs> this is the rest of the game was pretty much him in that realm. Yep. And uh, with that, Atlan unfortunately not able to deal uh, the necessary bullet time. Bumps into Enzo oh. despite the flash. Out of danger. And meanwhile, this is the sneaky kill coming from Rock. Yeah. Enzo actually had a really good fight this one. He got a lot of knockups, was able to wait out a lot. I think he did end up, uh, no, he wasn't the one that went down. K2 did, but he got uh -huh. his ultimate off. But Enzo had a, a really good fight there and got a lot of knockups for the team. But in the end, Look at that. Dragons secured themselves the victory off a 30,000 <laughs> damage Mordekaiser. Oh, that is the first we've that's seen. That's like 800 damage a minute. That's almost 1,000 damage per minute in this game. That's actually insane coming out here from Ozzy. Oh my word. And the, the victory coming from Berjaya is not the same way that they achieved it during their first match with no. Alpha Esports. It's not a very close match. It's just total destruction. And that kind of, of performance in a fight or in a match just really, really, you know, changed their outlook in this in this tournament in general, and they can keep doing it again. I want to see more. I want to see more, Opal. <laughs> That's the hope here. And if we can see more aggressive, like, I think teams trying to realize, hey, we can be proactive against these teams that play slow. We can get them off guard, and we can actually go for things that uh, we didn't even need to say this. Yeah, obviously, obviously. MVP, Mordecai, 21 KDA. Perfect KDA in theory, but 21 kills and assists with zero deaths. That's actually nuts.
from Ozzy. Very. It's just unexpected, honestly, because we were looking towards, you know, Minji in that um, Kiana. But then, because we've seen a lot of Mordekaiser picks in the PCS, and this was the most destructive of all. Oh, yeah. It was. A new record. <laughs> new record? Yeah. Like, I guess, yeah. It's, it's fair to say that it's maybe a new Yeah, record for there. sure, for sure. And uh, <laughs> as far as Mordekaiser slamming four Threshes into the ground. All the smashes. Bam. So satisfying He was pretty to watch. much Hulk with a mace. Oh, yeah, he was. Pretty much. <laughs> he kept just slamming people into the ground. <laughs> Everyone's like, I just want to play League of Legends. And he's like, no. No. <laughs> Gray screen. <laughs> you, you, 1v1. Let's go. Let's see what happens. I, I already got the dragon pit here. Don't even worry about it. Oh, my word. And uh, I'm not going to be surprised if people start to ban, I guess. I think that's I don't one know of... If, I don't know if that's ban worthy. I think he just got himself a really, really good, good start. start. Again. Yeah. And True. then he got out of control. So, again, congratulations on Over to the Dragons. And with that, that's the end of day one of week four. And we can go ahead and take a look toward our standings. And at the top, it is AHQ, but it could have been actually Machi. Uh if HQ almost dropped their game to resurgence. Machi move up into second as they're able to take down Talon. And with that too, they also force a tiebreaker scenario if it comes to the playoffs. Again, your top two seeds in the standings get themselves a bye into the semifinal of the winner's bracket. It's very important. Uh, a big win though coming out from Nova. They're able to actually push themselves up into six. They get out of that bubble position and kind of force now Liab and J team to have to battle it out. Luckily for Liab, they have two games in hand over J team as well as a game against J team. Mm -hmm. So J team actually very scary situation they're in, especially if HKA are able to pick up a couple more wins. That's true. I mean, looking at the standings right now, they're in a very awkward position. I mean, coming. Before the before we enter the PCS, we we're expecting it to be them to be a little bit higher, but things are just insanely close here for the rankings of the PCS. And with that, I'm actually very proud of the LST representation in the, the upper or the portion of the the rankings. And at this time, you know, the gap doesn't exist anymore. After what we've seen today, I don't think it exists anymore, Opal. That's what you're going with. I hey. I'll agree with you on this one. So far, <laughs> the uh, Southeast Asia squad's been able to show up here against the former LMS. Let's take a look toward our schedule tomorrow. That's going to be day two. We start things off here with a good old Singapore versus Malaysia organization battle of Southeast Asia, you could say. It's going to be Resurgence taking on the Dragons. Then Machi are going to go up against Nova Esports. And the Dragons back at it again against Leon. We got ourselves a couple tussles when it comes to the Southeast Asia teams. And then we got J-Team taking on AHQ. Again, a rematch of the LMS Summer Finals from last year. But uh, I would have to say it's looking like a completely different outlook. <laughs> Definitely. And after that, it's going to be another Liab match on the same day against Hong Kong Attitude. And to cap off the night, it's going to be an Alpha Esports versus Talon Esports finish. Yeah, And of course, for you Liab fans at home, hopefully we'll have some information regarding the reschedule of their match against J-Team. Be sure, though, to, uh, you know, you got to do what you got to do, Riku. You got to be sure to follow uh -huh. the pages so you guys can know that information regarding when we're going to get that rescheduled match, as well as all the news regarding the league, information about the rosters, all that lovely stuff, as well as we like to share some of the team content when we can. So if you guys want to learn more about the team, be sure to follow the pages below, and you guys can keep up with the PCS. Yep, check out their interactions, check out their memes, check out our... I don't know, some of the memes are a little risque. Oh, that's true. I'll have to say that. <laughs> but for now, thank you guys for tuning in to the English broadcast of the PCS. We'll be back here same time, same place tomorrow for more League of Legends action.